Well, hello YouTube, it's me Fortmaster, and welcome back to Deltarune Chapter 2. So, uh, last episode we had our first actual fight with Queen, and we fought Birdly who was under the control of one of those space plugs. Um, now he's not, so let's go. Uh, Chris, your deep concern for me is dextrose. But stay sanguine, my fellow bluebird. I'll find some way to help you get... Okay. Oh, Susie, there you are. Okay, wait. I'm pretty. Is this lit? Okay, never mind. I st I chose a really bad time to stop recording before then. The night. The roaring night. Today, it designed to create this world. Reaching its long hand in uh, to the sky, it coursed its will into its blade and made thrusting the fountain from the earth. That didn't look like a sword, that looked like a knife. Unfortunately, the world they created is trapped within the confines of the library. If only we had a way to make more darkness, we might be able to cover the whole world. That is when I realized this power, this power of the will, this power of determination Is this not something that all Lightners possess? Not actually, only humans possess it because it causes monsters to melt? If one was simply determined enough, could not anyone make a dark fountain? So then, if the night has taken its leave, then I will simply Make a new one. Well, honey darling, sweetie gravy. How do you find the giant hand? Great, how do you feel about world domination? Ooh, ouchie mama! Susie, you, uh, you came to save me. Somehow I, uh, knew you would. Uh, you did? Um, I mean, I, uh, well. Whoa, wait, 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 wait! You need to get out of here, hurry! Huh? Giant robot, I knew it. Qu queen Seems that you failed to notice the giant freaking robot in the middle of my palace. The, this isn't good. She's she's invincible like this, huh? She, she's been bragging about her final form all day. <laughs> you think growing a few inches is gonna help? Yes. Are we cool to take over the world now? S Susie, let's just give up and... Hell if we're giving up now! S Susie? Wait a second. I just thought of something. So you know how all the Darkners are like little objects, like cards, game... Well, I mean, in the, previ in the previous one was like guard cards and games pieces and stuff like that. So they're all usually very tiny. She's in a giant robot. If she were to like go into the main world, would she be, like, normal-sized or something? So what if you got another form? We've got one, too! Chris, Rousey, come on! What? What are you doing? This is our ultimate... Uh, wait a sec. Now you mention it. Oh, no, it appears I am evenly matched. 
I hope we won't mind if I don't hold back. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we're falling! Any bright ideas how we're getting out of this one? Um, we could try flapping our arms. Fear not! Your knight in the glow in the dark armor is here! Birdly? He has a train. Chris, Susie, my energy is still too low to help you fight. So, so I found help for you! Behold, comrades! On my- on your quest against Queen! You've made all sorts of bu uh, buddies, right? Using our junk-making skills, we modified everyone to work together. I shan't- oh, I shall also take credit for this. Wait, there was an empty car there. Chris, Susie, behold! The ultimate group project! The splendid base! The strongest JPEGs! Flashing lights. Happy uh, gravity. Meow noise. My energy. Squeak noise. Tender loving care. Fresh cooking. Organization. And most of all, whatever the thing is this is. Finally, a worthy opponent. Round one. Fight. Giga Queen blocks the way. Better. Well, it seems we can't act. Thrash. Oh, no mercy. We can only fight. Time for words is over. Now is the time to fight only. Mm. Susie mashes the controls using uh, trying to punch more. Just kidding, I totally will keep mod longing as I kick at your face. Yeah, we're good. Better die! Time has come for Noelle to realize her own strength, her own will, her own determination. into her blade, she will create a, ne a, a neo-dark fountain, then another, and another! Then the whole world is covered in darkness. She and everyone can live in bliss, free of fear and suffering.
Oh, wait a sec. Oh, wait, maybe I shouldn't be actually attacking her. Chris, Susie, why don't you help me too? Create the world of your dreams! Also my dreams. Duck mode? Sucky attacks, okay. Susie. Bro, just let me karate chop you and you can have your many skateboards as you want. You can have as many. I don't remember what you liked. Hey, uh, uh, there was a third. Was there a third guy? will become super strong and cool. Meanwhile, I don't need to improve because I'm already perfect and can shoot lasers from my fancy glass. Okay, I believe I've made my point. I'm going to... Uh, pr uh, procedurally loop my dialogue now. <laughs> the time for words is over. Yeah, okay. Okay, good. Oh wait, I just... Mm. Oh! Oh no! Ah, oh, drat!
for fighting machines. Oh, you have earned the right to remember what your fighting machine's true purpose is. To get your own ass thrashed. By me. With my final attack. Haha, uh -huh, bye. Dropping! Overheat! Activated! Listen well! You may have defeated me, but I still possess one thing! You three will never have... Detachable hands! Oh no! Thrash! No. No. No, who's saying this? No! <coughs> Darling! <coughs> Honey! <coughs> Sweetie! <coughs> Gravy! Take the pin I gave you and stab the earth, creating our new supreme empire. I, I, what's wrong, Noel? You know it could make you happy. Or should I, with the last 1% of my battery, crush Susie into eight bits. Leave. Leave Susie alone. You think you think listening to you makes me happy? No. I'll never be happy. Not if I'm controlled by you. Why can't you understand that? No. Oh. Perhaps uh my computations were miscalibrated. No. Disregard me and with our power choose the world that makes you happy. Queen? Queen! Are you okay? Seems like she ran out of battery power. Guess we can seal the fountain now. Alright, everybody? Everyone? Queen, she said, choose the world that makes you happy. I don't want to live in a world ruled by her. But if that wasn't the case, I wonder what this world wouldn't be so bad. Huh? Right, Susie, don't you think so too? I, uh, I didn't mention it. Chris, isn't the world just better? We make so many friends here, you know? I've never had an adventure like this before. With axes and battles and magic. Where everything can be healed with a little spell. And no matter what happens, no one tells you uh, tells us what to do. Gosh, yeah. You know, things were really scary just now. I mean... So is there any reason not to? Not that I can think of. Me neither. Then, well, let this be a real. Let this be my real apology. In my will into this blade, I will make a new fountain and unleash the bright future. The future that shines for us. The future whose brightness is born from darkness. Stop! What in the world are you all doing? Well, stop. <laughs> I mean, stop. Do you realize what will happen if you do that? I will just. 
You'll bring the roaring. You'll bring the roaring? When the light is subsumed by shadow, then the fountains, when the fountains fill the sky, all will fall into chaos. The titans will take form from the fountains titans, and envelop the land in devastation. Surviving darkness crushed by the darkness will slowly, one by one, turn into statues, leaving the lightners to fend for themselves, lost eternally in an endless night. Is that what your idea of- is that your idea of paradise? Oh damn, I didn't know that. You you didn't? But your whole plan was to I'm just a computer, Lamau. I don't know everything. I was just guessing based off the knight's reactions. Why the heck, hell, would I want to end the world? But, well, that's a relief. Um uh, um well, I'm sorry. I I after everything, I just I just caused trouble for you guys, uh, for you again, Noel. That's okay, I... That's okay, Birdly, I understand. I thought about it while charging my battery. <laughs> you cannot calculate other people's feelings. You... You understand how I feel? N not really, Lamau. I just don't want Noel to be sad. <laughs> well, I'm glad you two kind of get it now. I guess we all... Made a pretty sweet team in the end. No, we freaking didn't. No, we freaking didn't? Can you let go of us now? Oh, yeah. S Susie. Hey, set up a queen, not a bad. R really? Uh, yeah. We gotta wake up soon, huh? Huh? Uh, everything got so intense I forgot it was a dream. Then, I just hope I got to have more dreams like this. Hey, Noel, uh, when you wake, um, um, well, I just wanted to say, uh. Well, then I suppose it's time for your ulti exit. Ready program, tender goodbye. <laughs> I will make each of I will miss each of you. No, your unneeded honesty. Susie, your foolish bravery. Chris, you <laughs> your chill vibes. Bur Burgly. It didn't have to be it doesn't have to be goodbye, Queen. Chris can take you back to our castle town. You and all uh, our recruits can live there. Oh. <laughs> Cancelled! Delete tender goodbye, Dotty XC! Alright, time to do what we came here for. Hey, Noel. Cool. If, this, uh, if the, you see the real Susie, just. Just know maybe she's. Look! She doesn't have a tail, okay? Okay, haha! Uh haha! -huh. Uh -huh. I, okay, I get it. It's not a secret. Let's just go, Chris! Chris, 
Looks like we're here again, huh? Roaring night. Whatever they are, they're making these fountains. But, is that really a bad thing? Since they started showing up, everything's gotten a lot more interesting, hasn't it? Well, we don't have to think about that now. Chris, it's your turn. It was as if your very soul was glowing. Uh, huh? What? What happened? Oh! It was a dream, wasn't it? What? A dream? What was... That was all a dream? Uh, of... Of course! That must have been a dream! Such feelings, such thoughts! Oh, sweet lady of justice! To think I would ever think Susie would be... Susie? S Susie? What? What are you doing here? Uh... Invited us to study, remember? Oh, oh right! I are, uh... What, studying with them? No, well, heavens to yikes! They're... they're... Well, I guess we could try it. Uh, huh? My alarm? Ah! I'm going to be late for my shift at, uh, Miss Boom... with Miss Boom? Oh no! How is this that late already? Well, uh, adieu, everyone. I must gather my, uh, book longings. Ah. Uh, how I love the text for freshly print, uh, picked up books. Now, let us hasten, my dear Noel. Good day, Chris. Susie. Bye, Chris. And, uh, um, bye, Susie. Um, see ya. Ah! What? What are you looking- are you looking for something? Nothing, bye! The heck is her problem, anyway? The way to treat someone who saved the world. Chris! Hey, wait a second! Chris! We- we just actually saved the world, didn't we? Damn! We- we really are heroes! And no one even knows! Guess it's better that, uh... Uh, better that they, uh, that way, though, right? Freaking out, they knew the world's in danger. Well, kind of sucks Noel has to forget, too. Whatever, let's get out of here. It's a recycling bin. Looks like something, uh, someone ac actually accidentally spilled a lot of useless emails. Looks like the library state of the art public laptop. Someone left it on. It's a trash can, you can get the feeling it doesn't have any friends. Oh. Hard to explain why you feel this way about a trash can. This computer, the monitor's flickering brightly. The closet is spacious and full of old electronics. A large person could easily fit inside. Various posters talking about internet safety. And there's the Ferris wheel. You suddenly thought about how your day might have been different. If the poster with the orange cat was still on the wall. Uh, It's full of many uh, backup devices like extra mice, extra keyboards, extra maracas. I'm only level one again. Oh. 
Hi, honey. That was your group project. I can give you a ride home in a minute. I'm just... Oh, no need? Are you still spending time with your friend? Uh, oh dear, two days in a row. Chris, is that is that a record? Have fun, honey. Go back before su uh, be back before sunset. Click. Oh. Before you left, you gathered up everything in the room. Is there an upstairs? Oh, hi. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. Book one about souls. Read it. Souls long been called many things. Different passion, source of your will, container of your of our life force. Even now, the true function is not un is unknown. How to care for a human? It's a book for monsters on how to care for humans. Look inside. There are photos of unfamiliar humans inside. You shut the book quickly. According to the card on the back, looks like your mother took it out repeatedly many years ago. Book of magic tricks. Does them require orbs or floating hands? Lord of the Hammer. First in the award winning fictional series by lauded historian Gerson Boom. Yeah, I'm running here. Flavor text. It's, it's someone's diary. Read it? Yeah? Oh no, someone else has been taking out my diary. Oh no, they're, uh, they're printing a review of the uh, in the book. Oh no, I'm being highly acclaimed. <laughs> late, didn't it? Guess you should go home, huh? Alright, you don't have to say it. Don't want to walk home by yourself, huh? Well, if you're gonna make me, I guess. Let's go. Let's, I mean, let's bring the stuff back to the school. Back it! So this is your castle town. It's not bad. <laughs> At least she's telling the truth. Chris, Susie, enough of everyone I oppressed. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to be your wacky roommate now. Oh wait, um. Woohoo! What a ter uh, terrific boy's adventure. Time to kick off her feet and relax. Uh, me lo uh, rules card. Me lord, I tis my, your humble servant right here. Loaded disc. Uh. Chris, I bet you have a lot of people to talk to. But you don't have time to do everything at once. Save and take a break every time. Okay, yeah. I mean, I already did take a break. Makes a lot for the lo uh, for the lovely city. It's nearly as good as the one I made in Minecraft. <laughs> I'm a worm. I don't understand taxes and values. What? Who did this to my mannequin? As, a, as your prince, I, I I demand someone fix this. Um, this is there anybody listening? I was listening. Don't yell at across town. Hey, Lancer. Hey, Susie. Just like uh, it costs money just to have a free sample. This 
place is, is a great deal. All kinds of new customers. Oh, you want a free sample? It's Friday night. I try a bite off these clothes. Welcome to the music room. <laughs> uh, we don't sell anything. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. Good song. Nice town, Chief. I think we're going to like it here. Cool city. As things, you can listen to all sorts of songs here. Don't think it'll be cheap, though. It's free. What? Oh, hello. Okay. You may have messed it to me, but... You'll soon face someone more fierce. More tyrannical than you could ever imagine. Queen? We already met her. What? Oh, nice hamster wheel. So you, too, have come to humiliate me. No, I am serious. It's cool. That water bottle, however. Do not speak ill of the royal water bottle. It's nothing compared to the one in my, at my mansion. <laughs> Materialistic, as always. Materialistic evaluation denied. I simply gave give myself the treatment I deserve. You slept curled up on a dirty throne every day. Enough, wench! What purpose have you here, beanie, queenie beanie? I just thought I would, uh, I would send a message, Kingy Wingy, that you don't have to worry about Lancer. I will be looking after him from now on. After all, I am his mother. When was that decided? Arbitrarily, right now. Huh. Do what you pl do what you please with the boy. But if he cries, bounce him on the ground like a ball. I think it is time to abort this conversation. As you wish. Oh, quite sorry, mine king. Queen hath nay men about town now? Who? Yeah, who? Er, I think I left my puzzle on. Proceeds. Who was that? <laughs> Bro. So, that was my son's lesser father. Cannot calculate someone less than you. Be gone. Bye, bye, Kingy Wingy. By the way, did you want anything from the store? Cashews. Order processed. Cashews. Okay. Yes, Lancer has a mom now. <laughs> Susie, Chris, toothpaste boy. Queen is teaching me all sorts of things about being a bad guy. She's like, how do I put this? A third father. <laughs> A girl dad, if you will. You mean, uh, you mean a mom? <laughs> welcome to the. Uh, welcome. This entire castle is now my room. Uh, um, I was going to set you up with something upstairs. I already have everything I could ever want: friendship, fans, and a small round boy. Now go and play with your friends, Peach Boy. Peach Boy. Peach Boy. Well, the traffic jam's gone. Let's uh, explore town, because I didn't do that the last time, and I discovered afterwards by from watching things that, you know, there was actually stuff to do in town after you left. Silver Drake? I've never beaten this boss before. All right, hand it over, honey. I got this. No, Dad, this is my battle. So, um, how about telling me what to do? <laughs> sure. How about trying fire shock? I'd love, I'd love to, Dad, but the mage left the party. Oh yeah, how about the one that, one of your 99 blaze potions? Um, 
I'm saving those? For what? Birthday? Come on, love a little. Hey, Dad! It's for you. Flex fire attacks. Aha! Whoops. Hey, you, you gotta heal. I wish I knew healing magic in real life. It, it, then it'd make you better, and it wouldn't just be me and Mom. Your mother is. Hey, it's okay, sweetheart. I'm getting better. Might even be able to go to church tomorrow. Really? Are you are you sure you're okay? All these happen whether you like it or not. Even though everyone likes holidays. Well, gotta go home soon or mom will call. See you tomorrow, honey. Hey dad, love you. Susie! Why are you here? Hell I know. Alright guys. The game's only one player. Um Dad, this is, uh, Susie. Oh, this is Susie. Susie, nice, heard a lot about you. You, um, have? Cool, I think I have to go now. Susie, huh? Yeah? Put your finger on her and I'll kick your ass. Huh? <laughs> kidding, just kidding. Well, kinda kidding. Why are you checking the sink? That's what I'm asking, sweetheart. Whoa, that was... is bringing you flowers. That's... Uh, what's wrong with the married man getting flowers? Um, so your, uh, wife uh, gave you that? Uh, gave them to you? Nah, <laughs> I'm messing with you. Chris's dad did! I'm not gonna even try to understand this. Double ice pizza, great. Ice wolf, big customer. Ice Wolf, maybe only customer. Wow, my co-worker seems so energetic lately. I don't know what's happened. What's happened, but... Seeing him happy makes me happy too. Oh, a customer! Uh, would you like a, a Big Blue Soft Serve? The pizza sauce is boiling red! Burbling, burning like my blood yearns for battle! Ah! I, the warrior, shall show it the warrior's fi the wizard's fist. Oh, buddy, you aren't gonna believe this. I've got a girlfriend, Azriel. Uh, you got to tell Azriel. You've got to tell Azriel right now. He's gonna be so proud of me. Huh? What you look like? Ah, uh, little buddy. How do I put it? I don't actually know. I haven't met her in real life. But from the way she texts... God! Little buddy, she must be stacked! So far, she's the perfect girl, little buddy. She loves pizza and bikinis. And to top it off, she sent me a picture of herself wearing a pizza bikini. Little buddy, perhaps... Uh, it, it is uncouth, but look, look at this! Huh? <laughs> God damn! It's several pixels that vaguely resemble a zoomed-in JPEG of a pepperoni pizza. Yes, I know what you're thinking, little buddy. Her camera is not of the highest qual caliber, but a scholarly man of the world like myself, this is what love looks like, little buddy. Sands. That's the music. <laughs> that stuff? It's used half off. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Trash. Something. Sometimes the hook girl comes here, opens the freezer door, and then stands in front of it, lost in thought. I guess she really likes the cold. Or, or waffles. There's a rack of candy, jerky, and various nuts. See? Jerky is candy. Peanuts, too. Actually, they're a legume. Peanuts? Jerky! Hey, what's up? 
Fuck you, babe. Hey, you the boss around here? Me? Yeah, I'm just a janitor. Then where's the cashier? Cashier? We don't have one. Then who do we buy stuff from? Me. Then that makes you the cashier. Nope, I'm just a janitor. I'm just filling in. Are there any other employees? Nope. Then why don't you hire someone else? Whoa, you think I can afford that on a janitor's salary? <laughs> Welcome to the convenience store. You want to buy something? Put it in the basket and bring it here. In case you don't know that, uh, that what a store has. Grapes, melons, oranges, and the scent of fresh pineapples. Loose egg, one dollar. It's uh, too much responsibility for an egg. Yeah, I'm the sicko who looks at the milk and finds the best expiration date. You got something about it? No, I mean, I do that too. Hey, hey, forget something? Why, er, uh, yes, I think I left my eggs on the counter. Guess your memory is not what it's cracked up to be. <laughs> there, uh, there is really egg on my face now, is there not? Eh, you're excused. Not that it sounds as if you were egging me on. Egg, egg on, egg off, I expect a lot from you. Well, I am exceptional. <laughs> oh, forget me, the your egg's husband. Er, hello, Asgore. You killed it, dude! Tori, I didn't expect to see you here, but I, uh, have some extra flowers, and I was wondering if... Oh. I was just about to go, actually. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, okay, sure. Uh, it, oh, home is where the heart is, huh? Um, so, when Azrael comes home, yes, we should all discuss that uh, together soon. Okie dokie, say hi to uh, Chris for me. Of course, have a nice day. You know what I want, Bone Man? Yep. Three pickles. Why, thank you. Can I ask, what kind of flowers do you think would make her remember how she felt before? Uh, maybe you should talk to pl your plants about that. Ha! Ah, don't worry, they're the first ones I ask. There's just, they're such good listeners, you know, flowers? Well, yeah, nothing like a captive audience. Yeah, uh, I keep them in glass. Uh, like that movie? Yeah, that's very similar to that movie. Can I leave? <laughs> huh, I'm trying. Hey, uh, Chris, um, uh, never mind. Yeah, that was all sorts of cringe. Trussell growing further away. Brother? What are you talking about? I don't have a brother. Hmm. Nah, <laughs> just messing with you. I totally do. Though, uh, to be honest, I never mentioned him to you, did I? Not gonna lie. A little weird, you asked. I'd never let my brother hang out with a stranger. Especially not alone. In my- or in my house. That's way too irresponsible. Try to have some self-awareness, okay? Meanwhile, I'll ask- I'll ask what his schedule is. You think it's true? You really think there's- what? Chicken? Ha! You got a, uh, you got a beak and wings like a chicken? No, just... I ain't afraid. Only kids believe in that stuff. But, Chris... 
You gotta. Are you gonna be a weenie like Chris? You wanna say that again? Susie, didn't see you there! Or, Susie, didn't see you there! Wow, really something scary in there, huh? Uh -huh. Sounds to me like you better worry. But what come well what comes out for out here first? You okay, Chris? What's the deal with this place? Well, you don't uh, you don't gotta talk about it. It's locked. Okay, I guess it's time for let's go home then. Chris, uh, you going home? Yeah. Alright. Then, guess it's goodbye for today. See you tomorrow, Chris. See you in another two years! Chris! I was just studying with your... Why, Chris, is this your friend? Why don't you invite her inside? Uh, uh, I mean, I, uh... Chris, I should um, probably get going and... I was going to make a pie. Do you want any? <laughs> Ooh, pie! Guess I can come over for a bit. Feel free to come in. Oh, excuse me. I'm Chris's mother, Toriel. Yes, ma'am. I remember. Oh, you do? Er, and you are Susie, are you not? But, huh, you, uh, y you remember my name too? Of course. Miss Alphys is a good friend of mine. She often talks about you. Um, glad to hear it. Chris, the hell is Alphys saying about me? Susie, why don't you wash your hands over here? Uh, and then, uh, then you couldn't make the pie together make it together? Uh, but I don't know how to. Don't oh, worry, I can teach you. Okay. <laughs> Chris, Susie seems like a nice girl. Very happy you're friends with her, but... Chris, I heard from Alphys about her behavior. If by any chance she uh, influences you... Or... Leave the chalk alone, alright? Hands up, washed. Wonderful. Now, how, now we can... Oh, Chris! How about you show Susie how to bake it? Chris? You cannot make pie... The hell have you made me any, dumbass? Pie hoarder? I mean, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Susie. You can just call me Toriel outside of school. Oh, okay, sweet. Oh. Oh, uh, Chris, you don't need to wash your hands, too. Then, uh, I suppose we, I shall teach Susie for now. Susie and Asher will start getting ready to make the pie. Uh, we will? Wait. Hey, uh, what are those metal people shapes in the cupboard? Like, uh, handcuffs? No, that will hold... Those are ginger. Uh, those are for gingerbread, Susie. Gingerbread men and gingerbread monsters, of course. Gingerbread monsters, huh? Cool. Bathroom sink. We run the tap. Yes. Started to run. It's making a lot of noise. Where are you gonna put it? Oh, 
cheese. Let us get the flower. So that's bag, and you just. Oops. <laughs> Susie, you got flower on your nose. <laughs> I mean, I meant to do that. Thought you would stop to smell the flower. Eh? <laughs> Come on. Now into the into the next part. So. Where the heck is Chris? Oh, Chris er, does this sometimes. Well, they should hurry. It's g I'm getting sleepy. Do you know? Uh, uh, do you know what they call a sleeping bag, Susie? A uh, what? They call her a snoozy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> then. I guess you'd be a snoriel. Ah! Snoriel! Snoozy and Snoriel! Ah! Ah! You liked that one, didn't you? Huh? Wasn't it funny? Alright, where the hell is Chris? Toriel? He's nearly done. Oh, the sugar! Wait a moment, I left it in the car! Okay. You're just gonna act like nothing happened? Hey, Chris, hurry up next time. We're already almost done. But what's next? Oh, er, uh, the pie. We already worked quite hard, uh, have we not? How about we finish it later? Um, okay. Then, uh, I guess I'll walk home. Okay. Oh, oh, oh no. There's no need for that. Hey. Oh, actually, Susie, would you like to stay over? Huh? I mean, uh, if it's okay then. Here, look at this. The, f the sofa folds out. Our couch used to, uh, is used to being used as a bed. It's not perfect, but you could sleep all. Uh, you could sleep out here. That's that's good to me. Yeah, splendid. I will make sure everything is in order. Just call your parents, will you not? Yeah, of course. Oh, so what the hell? A sleepover? Damn, I haven't had one of those in forever. <laughs> hey, Chris, it's not like someone has to tell you to sit, right? There, chill out for a sec. So, now what? I got it. Maybe, between the pillows, here? I knew I'd find the remote in there. You can always find good stuff to wedge in the couch. Jeez, it's dusty. When was the last time you used this thing? Well, who cares? Let's just watch TV. So what are we going to marathon tonight? Blood Crushers 3? Hellbusters? Invasion of the Cat Butters? <laughs> Maybe I see the movies more your speed, huh, Chris? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 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 ha! It's been a good.
good day, huh, Chris? You, Ralsei, Lancer, everyone. It's just cool hanging out together, right? That's why, you know, don't you think we should try to have them come to our world? Think, come on, think about how much better it would be. Rousey could do our homework, Lancer could live under your bed. We could all walk to school together. It'd be perfect, you know? I mean, it would be unstoppable, is what I'm saying. Seems a little far-fetched. What? Come on! It'd be easy! Rousey looks like, uh, looks like your mom, right? Just say he's a long-lost cousin. It'd be easy. Lancer can even make him a fake mu- <laughs> Lancer can even make him a fake mustache. Well, whatever. Let's just get back to watching. The festival's coming up, right? The thing where the town becomes a carnival? Stupid, right? But, say you had to take someone. Noel or Rousey. But, huh? Way to dodge the question, dumbass. I mean, if I went obvious, I mean, if I went obviously, you'd be there too. Goes without saying, right? Look, let's just get back to watching TV. Now this is what I'm talking about. A giant monster movie special. Always like them better than the giant human movies. Now this is something we can marathon. You ready? Are you ready, Chris? For 12 hours of building bashing car crunching action? Cause we are locked in! Got it? I better not see you move until your eyes are bloodshot! Yeah! <laughs> now, let me just get comfortable here. There. And she's asleep. Susie fell asleep. Chris is asleep now. Officer? Officer? Thank goodness, I finally got through. I thought I saw somebody prowling around outside. And when I checked around the car, the tires looked like they'd been slashed? Officer, if you could please come over. Uh, you will soon, thank you. Tires had been slashed. They're already asleep. Oh, Chris. Oh. They stuffed it in the couch?
Um... Okay, so here's my thoughts on that. Um... Well, one, um, so Chris has been making the portals, or... Okay, so here's what I'm starting to think. I suppose- before I thought that we were somehow possessing Chris, and that we weren't actually Chris. I have a feeling that it's quite the opposite now. We are Chris, but something is cause- is take, temporarily taking over his body, and pulling out his soul so that it can control him. And, um, that smile on a TV. I'm getting Photoshop flowy vibes from that. Seven! There's gonna be seven chapters! Jeez, okay, um... Well, okay, wait, I just- I, I have a few more things I want to say, just get out, okay. So... So, things that I know are going to happen in the third chapter. So we're gonna have another Noel- Noel situation, but with Toriel this time. In the third chapter, whenever that comes out. Then... Possibly Undyne? Because Chris let the door open. That means that the darkness is going to start seeping outside. Oh, jeez. Okay, I have... Hopefully it doesn't take another two years um, for Chapter 3 to come out. Uh, but other than that, uh, I hope you guys liked. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you have not. And the next episode, um, hopefully, is me going back to uh, to to defeat Spamton. <sighs> Goodbye.